Welcome back, dear learners. Before the ad break, we prepared a trading account. And in the trading account, we managed to calculate gross profit. What we're going to do now, we're going to prepare what we call a profit and loss account. Let us begin. Remember, we are given again a post-adjustment trial balance. And what we are looking at is the nominal account section. Because when we prepare a trading account, we will focus on the nominal accounts section. So here we have our post-adjustment trial balance again. And here is our profit and loss account. Earlier on, we prepared a trading account and we had gross profit, which was 310,290. That is that amount there. Okay? And when we prepared a trading account, we used sales, we used cost of sales, and we used debtors allowances. So those three amounts have already been used. Let us therefore now begin. The first amount in our post-adjustment trial balance is bad debts. There it is. Bad debts is an expense. Hence, you see it on the debit side of your nominal account section. This is my debit and this is the credit. So I'll take my bad debts, I'll bring it now to the debit side of the profit and loss account. And then I'll say bad debts 6,500, the same 6,500 down here. Let's go to the next one. The next one is commission income, 16,500. Here's my commission income. The moment you have income, in this case, it is commission income, you will add it to your gross profit, the one here, which is trading account. So you bring it to the credit side. So commission income comes to the credit side then. That is how you see 16,500. You have brought your commission income to the credit side. The next amount is discount received. Your discount received is 1,800. So you come to the credit side, then you say discount received 1,800. You have to understand that your discount received will be considered income. Hence, you see it on the credit side of your trial balance. So it will now come to your credit side of the profit and loss account. Then you say discount received. So you treat it the same way you would have treated your commission income. The next one is insurance. Let me ask you a question. Where do you think we're going to take insurance in the profit and loss account? Are we going to put it on the debit side or are we going to put it on the credit side? Insurance is an expense and you can see it is on the debit side in the nominal account section. So when I come to my profit and loss account, I'll say insurance and then I'll bring the 10,000 on my debit side. So, so far, we have two expenses, which is your bad debts and your insurance. The next one is interest on fixed deposit. Now, fixed deposit is what we call an investment. Fixed deposit is an investment. And any interest on an investment is interest income. So, the moment you have interest on fixed deposit, you see it on the credit side. It is interest income, interest on investment. So when I come now onto my profit and loss account, I'll bring it to the credit side, interest on fixed deposit, 5,000. That is your interest income, 5,000. Let's go to the next one. Packing materials. Packing materials, 23,500. Packing materials are also an expense. That means... When I come to my profit and loss account, I will bring it to the debit side because I have an expense called packing materials. So I'll come here. Here's my packing material, 23,500. The next one is your rent expense. Already you can hear from its name, rent expense. It is an expense. The moment it is an expense, 
you find it on the debit side of your nominal account section. When I then come to my profit and loss account, I will have rent expense 65,000 on the debit side because the debit side of the profit and loss account is where I record all my expenses. Let's go on to the next one. The next one is rent income. You can hear from its name, rent income. So remember, we have two, we have rent expense. This is the rent that we're paying. Then we have rent income. This is when we have let part of the premises to a tenant. Therefore, that tenant gives us rent income. That is income. So you have rent income, which is 24,000. There, you see, rent income, 24,000. So I bring it now to the credit side of my profit and loss account. The next expense that I have is stationary. Stationary is an expense. Stationary is an expense. Hence, you see it on the debit side of your nominal account section. So I'll come here, stationary 8,619 on the debit side of the profit and loss account. The next one to consider is bad debts recovered. You remember bad debts recovered, all right? So bad debts recovered is income. Hence, you see it on the credit side of the nominal account section and it's 500, rent income. When I have income, I will credit it in the profit and loss account. So I'll come here, then I'll say, bad debts recovered, 500 in the profit and loss account. The next one is trading stock deficit. Trading stock deficit. So I will take my trading stock deficit, which is 900. I'll come here, trading stock deficit on the debit side of the profit and loss account because trading stock deficit is an expense. Trading stock deficit is an expense, 900. Then the last one is going to be your wages. Wages. When you have wages, wages are an expense. So you come and you debit your wages in the profit and loss account. That is your 88,000. You debit your wages. Now, have your calculator close to you because I want to call out some figures. Then you punch these figures. Then we see how much we are going to get. The first figure is 310,290 plus 16,500 plus 1,800 plus 24,000 plus 500 plus 5,000. After you have punched these figures in your calculator, how much do you get? Thank you. You get 358,090. 358,090. So you take the 358,090, you bring it onto the debit side as well. Now, keep that 358,090 on your calculator. Then say 358,090 minus 6,500 minus 10,000 minus 23,500 minus 65,000 minus 8,619 minus 88,000 minus 900. Then press the equal sign. How much do you get? You get 155,000. 571. And that is what we call net profit. I'll close this off to my capital account. That means from here now, we're going to look at the capital account. Let us go and look at the capital account. In the capital account, we have the balance. Now, remember, capital, you see it under the balance sheet account section not the nominal account section anymore, but under the balance sheet account section, there is my capital, 500,000. And then, remember what we have already prepared, that is the profit and loss. Now, in your capital account, remember it's part of owner's equity. So that means it increases on the credit side. Capital is a credit balance. So here is credit, 
That means it's a plus. That means on the debit, it will have a minus. Now, I have an opening balance of 500,000. There is my 500,000. And then, there are goods that the owner took for personal use, and we call them drawings. It could have been goods, it could have been cash. The total amount of drawings is 150,000. Drawings decrease our capital. Hence, you see, drawings are being debited in the capital account. They decrease the capital of the business. But the profit that I have, which is my net profit, I will come and add it now to my capital. That's why you see here I say profit and loss. Profit and loss. So I'm adding now. I am saying 155000 571, which is this amount. I bring it to my capital account on the credit side. So I'm adding it. Once you have your calculator, let's begin to add. 500,000 plus 155,571. How much do you get? 655,571. I bring it also to the debit side. 655,000 571. Then keep that amount on your calculator. That is 655,571. Then you now say minus 150,000. So it's 655,571 minus 150,000. Then you get your balance carried down as 505,571. 5,571. That therefore means I can now get my balance brought down to be 505,571. This is how you would take the amounts from the trading account into the profit and loss. And the profit and loss on the debit side we will have our expenses. As you see, bad debt insurance all your expenses. On the credit side, you have your gross profit that is from the trading account and then you have all your other income such as commission income discount received. Then this account, you end up with net profit which you will bring now to your capital account. In your capital account, which increases on the credit side, you start with the balance, you add net profit which is your profit and loss. And then you subtract drawings on the debit side. Then you end up with your balance carried down, which becomes balance brought down. It is important, dear learners, that you continue practicing this from your trading account to your profit and loss account, and then until you get to your capital account. Dear learners, thank you so much for joining me in today's class. Until I see you again, it is goodbye. Thank you.